Hi, this is James Governor, one of the co-founders of Redmonk, and I'm here with Nobby Akia from uh, Actuate. He runs marketing there. They're the company behind BERT. Um, you may not know BERT. It's an open source reporting framework, but it's really reporting and analytics and visualization. It's pretty cool stuff. So we were talking earlier, and I found out something very interesting that I had no idea about, which is that, that, that the BERT tooling is actually embedded in IBM's Maximo range. Now, if you know Maximo, it's an asset management platform. And I think what's really interesting about IBM's acquisition of this company is, uh, and, and Tivoli specifically, which led the acquisition, is that Tivoli was always about bits and bytes and feeds and gear and IT assets. And suddenly with Maximo, it was all about business assets and business operations. So we had this part of the company that was always about like uh, optimizing your data center, you know, um, optimizing your network performance and all of this good stuff. Suddenly you had Tivoli leading and probably having the crispest story at IBM about business and IT alignment. And it's all about the, the, the operations and significant assets. We look at smart grids. Uh, we look at some of these areas. So I'm just going to take a step back off this little ramble and say, so <laughs> Bobby, it's very interesting to me because I literally, I've, I've been doing a fair bit of work with, with you guys, but I hadn't realized uh, that you were part of this asset management story. So could you talk a little bit about that and, and, and you know what you're seeing in, in that market? I mean, it seems to me that actually you're helping to underpin some very interesting sustainability stories. Yeah, I think so, because you know, because we're you know we've been all about trying to get the data out of the Maximo system and and, and get that exposed to uh, a wider audience of folks and so on. And I think once they start to see how certain assets are deteriorating or you know certain assets are being used, and if you can get that information across a wider audience of people, even within the, the company and sometimes maybe outside, you know, I think opportunities open up where other people might be able to contribute an idea about how they can save, you know, maybe save money here, but also at the same time, you know, contribute to sustainability efforts and so on. Uh, you know, in fact, the story that you told about the whole railroad and the, uh, uh, you know, the wheels kind of going out around, you know, I, I suspect some of that could have come out of that kind of data. Certainly, could have come out of the uh, an asset management system like Maximo. Hopefully, then transmit it through uh, BERT to other users, who found you know, all the other implications of what that means mm -hmm. about you know fuel consumptions, the uh, the wear on the tracks, as you say, and so on. So hopefully, we are kind of you know that's some some of the ways we can contribute. And if we want to get more explicit, you know, we do have. Uh, a uh, certain set of uh, reference applications around measuring s sustainability goals and, and so on, both that in terms of uh, people, uh, the environment, but also some of the economics behind it that, that we support through the, uh, in fact, uh, it's one of the applications available on our uh, bird exchange oh, marketplace. Great. I mean, that's something that I, I think certainly worth looking at, because I, th I think you make the key point about sharing this information with other people. I understand that at least that was one of the things at, at Actuate. And Red Monk has seen this, and you know, we have a subsidiary, Green Monk, looking at sustainability issues. Again and again and again, uh, what we see is a person that has a personal interest uh, ends up creating a, a business or, or being given a, a role to do with sustainability. I mean, frankly, that was how Green Monk came about. Yeah. Um, it was a personal blog, and then people offered us money, so I was like, okay, we'll turn it into a business. So obviously making information more available about your assets in order that you can be more efficient and therefore more sustainable is something interesting. And I understand that's kind of how you all got into sustainability yourself. Yeah. You had a, a champion. Exactly. We, uh, one of our product marketing manager, uh, her name's Seema Haji, also had a personal blog where she would actually blog about little things you could do in your daily life to save the environment. Uh, and then I think, you know, we, we said, well, I, you know, I think if you wanted to kind of build some kind of a product offering around our performance management and our BERT product line, uh, yeah, that's kind of, uh, she started with that, ran with it, came up with all the different kind of ideas and, uh, you know, I think the whole idea obviously is to get the data uh, about different assets or different environmental impacts and so on and then make some compelling visualization to share that with other people and, and that's kind of what she's done, you know, it's, been, it's, it's a personal, it started out obviously as a personal fa passion for her. And now we, you know, I think we've been able to turn that into uh, a little bit of business for uh, for Actuate and, and a great use of Bert. That's great. Good to hear. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you.